the Christ Church Cathedral, the Yako House in Lagos, the first European story building in Nigeria, Badagri, the Oba of Benin Royal Palace, the Lugat Hall in Kaduna, and the Mapo Hall in Ibadan. These are some of the oldest buildings in Nigeria preserved over the years for their historical significance for future generations. Two peculiar things about these buildings is that they speak volume about the time they were built, and they also invoke valuable memories that shape lives across many generations. Another of such historical edifices is the Lagos State High Court located in the Igboshere area of Lagos Island. The Igboshere High Court, as it is fondly called by the legal community, is reputed to be the oldest and most recognizable judicial building in Nigeria. The court building was first known as the Lagos Supreme Court, with its existence dating back to the period of the cession of Lagos to the British government as a colony. It was the highest court in the country, and in 1960, matters from the court will go to the Privy Council of the United Kingdom on appeal. At the creation of the Federal Supreme Court in 1963, when Nigeria became a republic, the Supreme Court relocated to Abuja, the federal capital territory, and the Lagos Supreme Court then became the High Court of the Federal Territory of Lagos, and this building at racecourse around the Tafawa Balewa Square became the headquarters of the High Court of Lagos, with Honorable Justice Conrad Idowu Taylor becoming the first Chief Justice of the Court on July the 22nd, 1964. Today, that title has become Chief Judge of Lagos. Many great lawyers, both on the bar and bench, practice their trade in this building. Several legal decisions were also taken here. Any time I passed through there and I thought of the great advocates, H.A. Ladna, Gio Kajai, GCM on UK, you know, uh, Amanko Kafu, and then the great judges from time. It's like you're working in the portals of greatness. That old style colonial beauty, it was redolent with history and mistake. If you go into the court at the foyer, there's a place there that they normally put defendant, you normally call them accused persons. And the judge, you don't need to come in through the court. You come in through the underground. And when you come into the underground, you stay at the dock, you, you take your plea, uh, the case will be done, and then you don't need to come out. You go from there, down again, out. Those are monuments. It was therefore a rude shock for many when the legal monument was torched and looted on October 21, 2020 by some hoodlums who hijacked the ANSAS protest that rocked Lagos and other states of the Federation. <laughs> Following the sad development, the Lagos state government on February 2, 2022, began pulling down what remained of this symbol of Nigeria's legal history. These actions also came as a shock to many who wondered why the government was demolishing the building instead of renovating and preserving it as a historical location of interest. But the rebuilt Lagos Trust Fund, an eight-man committee constituted by the state governor to rebuild the edifice, has issued a statement on the issue. The statement by the board of directors said, an extensive structural integrity assessment has been conducted on the buildings within the courts to determine the scope of work. It found that the building was structurally defective and unsafe, and so the existing structures will be demolished and reconstructed into a state-of-the-art facility with a focus on building a 21st century edifice. They're going to put up a befitting 10-story building. Essentially, it's an opportunity for us to press the restart button to ensure that the courts that will, uh, upon completion, occupy those premises will not lack anything in terms of tech courtroom technology. And um, just to let people know that that facade that everybody knows is going to be retained and is going to be incorporated into the modern structure being put up there. Given the assurance that the historic iconic facade of the destroyed building will be replicated, the committee says this phase is expected to be completed 
in 18 months. Shola Shoyeli, Channels Television News.